Well, how about y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms, and welcome back to another video. Uh, we got all our afternoon chores done this afternoon. We got the bucks fed. We got sirloin or butcher calf fed. Uh, we got the rabbits taken care of. The kid goats creek feeder uh, set up or fill, filled up. And uh, we also got the garden uh, picked. We picked a pretty decent amount this afternoon. We got about three quarters of a basket of tomatoes, about a half a basket of green beans, and then a mixed basket of peppers and cucumbers and okra. All our squash and zucchini is starting to play out. I'm still picking some squash about every two to three days. Uh, so we've got some more started. Um, we were gonna work in the garden today and I was actually gonna plant our cuttings from our tomato plants and kind of make a video about that and kind of show you the whole process of taking the cuttings and then putting them in the ground. Uh, but it was about 97 degrees when I got here this afternoon and I didn't figure y'all would wanna see me sweat through my shirt today. Uh, so I'm off on Friday morning, so I figured we'll make that video then. And to make up for it and to make this video, we're gonna talk about kind of the things we get do uh, to get ready for the farmer's market and kind of how we do our plant sales, not our plant sales, our produce sales uh, throughout the week. Uh, the week is kind of hit and miss. A lot of times it depends on what we have available in the garden. Uh, like this week, we started picking corn yesterday. My dad's actually out in the garden now uh, pulling off some ears and getting them ready. We've got a whole list of people that want them already. Uh, so I don't even know if the corn will make it down to the farmer's market or not. The past two plantings hasn't. We will just have to wait and see. Uh, but kind of how I do my my uh, sales at the house throughout the week is is basically by, by word of mouth. Uh, several people know us for selling produce for the past couple of years. And if we have a whole lot of stuff, I'll throw it up on Facebook and uh, just take the first couple people that, that comment on it and saying they want something. Uh, but also we have several people that request a basket every week and that's what i really like to do we have a few people that um, request a basket every week and what we do is we give them about eight pounds of produce and uh, charge them for the weight of the basket and they get pretty much whatever is picked in the garden that week some some weeks it might be cucumbers green beans tomatoes okra peppers in some weeks like this week they might get a little bit of a corn it's just something that I kind of think is kind of neat, but it's kind of like getting one of those, you know, subscription boxes where you really don't know what's in there. Uh, but in this case, you're just getting a whole box of produce that you don't really know what you're getting, uh, but you know it's fresh and it was picked that week. Uh, so I really kind of like doing that. I'd like to expand that maybe next year. Uh, it's really worked out well. Uh, it gives me time to put together baskets. I know what day each basket needs to be ready. Uh, every, every person has a different pickup day. Uh, so they're not all like wiping me out in one day or anything. Uh, so it's been working out pretty well. But that's kind of it on the in-person sales as far as at the house. Uh, the majority of our sales is going to be at the farmer's market on Saturday mornings. And in Saturday mornings, we take everything we have uh, down there and try to sell it. And some weeks we do really well. Some weeks we don't. It's just the nature of the game. Some weeks are busier than the other. Uh, summertime, a lot of people's on vacation. Some days are hot. And some days feel good and people just want to get out. So it all depends on the weather, the time of year, and all that good stuff. Uh, but to get prepared, uh, typically whenever we come home from the farmer's market on Saturday, we'll have some produce left and we'll kind of go through that. And I'll take some of it to my house and then I'll leave some here at my parents' house. We may give some away to family and friends. And then the rest of it uh, typically goes to the animals. The rabbits love the tomatoes, the cucumbers, and anything you put in there as far as the vegetable, the the rabbits typically eat. Uh, but after that, starting on Sunday, it's time to start picking the garden for the next weekend's farmer's market. And tomatoes are the only thing I leave outside of the fridge. Everything else uh, goes in the fridge. Our green beans and our ochre go into bags. And I'm gonna show you how I kind of do that in a second. But what, typically what I start doing is on Sunday afternoon, whenever I pick the garden, I'm gonna start on this end of the garden. I mean, uh, this end of this pool table that I got this plastic over and uh, we're just gonna start working this way. So whenever people want tomatoes, they come to the house in the midweek, I know I need to sell those first and then we'll kind of save these for the end of the week. And I know I have fresh tomatoes whenever I'm handing somebody. And then whenever we get ready to go on Saturday morning, I will fill, fill, fill all the tomatoes and make sure they're good and we're not taking any rotten tomatoes down there. 
because uh, I don't want to give anybody a bad product. But like I said, everything else is kept in the fridge. Uh, cucumbers really don't last long. It doesn't matter if you leave them out or put them in the fridge. Uh, cucumbers just tend to go bad really quick. So this is something I, I try to get rid of in those baskets I was talking about. And then also our peppers, uh, they'll kind of shrivel up after a couple days in the fridge. Uh, so we, we make sure we go through all the peppers before we take them down to the farmer's market and make sure they're still good and fresh. So since we've got everything picked, we might as well get it laid out on the table and uh, start going through it and putting it where it needs to be. I'm just gonna go ahead and start lining up our tomatoes. We picked some pretty decent sized ones today. There's a couple in here that's really, really nice. This one right here, that'd make a perfect BLT whenever it ripens up. Then I've got, you know, I have one right here that somehow or another got split and I didn't fill it out there. So I've got a basket sitting right here that goes right to the rabbits. So as we're unloading them, we're going through them again, trying to weed out the bad ones. So once we got our, our tomatoes laid on the table, the next thing I typically do is go ahead and weigh out our okra and our green beans. Our green beans and okra are one of our top sellers at the farmer's market. If you have nice, small okra, you will sell every bit of it. This stuff is really tender. If you get it a, a lot bigger, it'll start getting tough on you and people really don't, don't really like it that much. And same thing with the green beans. Uh, like this green bean right here, this is, this is too big. I'll probably not even throw that in the bag. What people are really like with the green beans is about this size. Uh, but I put them in one pound sacks, about a quart. A quart is a one pound of this okra, uh, but I have my scale and we're just gonna kind of fill this bag up and weigh it out. Make sure we got a pound. I think we're gonna have a, we're gonna be a little short. Uh, one thing I know I will be planting more of next year is okra. This is the, really the first year I've, I've planted okra. That's only a half a pound. Uh, so I'm just gonna Make sure I top that off tomorrow. Make sure we have a whole pound. We'll get to the green beans. Green beans is another thing. Is the first year uh, that I planted green beans, and they, they've really sold well. Uh, last year was the first year we went to the farmers market, and we worked with this guy, or we sat beside this guy that sold green beans and he was retiring he gave me some seeds and he told me that green beans was the secret to making money at the farmer's market so that's what we've been doing So we got dead on two pounds of green beans. We're gonna go ahead and throw those in the fridge. Now this okra, I'll make sure I put it to the side so I know that it wasn't quite a pound so we can top it off tomorrow so we don't short anybody. We'll throw these in the fridge. the rest of this produce for us, these peppers and cucumbers uh, we've got several different baskets in the fridge out back and I'll just separate these out and uh, so whenever we go to the market on Saturday uh, we have a basket of banana peppers uh, probably a bat mix basket of uh, bell peppers and jalapenos and then we'll have a basket of cucumbers and squash so we actually have a basket going out tomorrow. I've got my scale zeroed out with this basket on top. And we're gonna fill it out with uh, five and a half pounds of produce. And then we're gonna give this customer a dozen ears of corn. I sell my baskets for $15 a piece. So that's gonna be eight pounds of produce uh, for $15. And then, but we sell our corn for $6 a dozen. So we're gonna take the $6 off and and give them about six pounds of produce. Uh, I've got some squash uh, that we need to get rid of. It's been in the fridge for a day or so. 
and then we're gonna throw some cucumbers in there. She said she was interested in some bell peppers. I've got three. And that's gonna put us at two and a half pounds. We're gonna make it up and grab some green beans and some okra. Pound of green beans, pound of okra, and then we're gonna top it off with some tomatoes. And she's good to go. Whenever uh, we pick the corn here in a second, we'll throw in a dozen ears of corn and then she'll get this basket full of tomatoes, green beans and okra, cucumbers and squash. So that's about all I have for you this afternoon. Uh, we got all our chores done, got the garden picked, we got all the produce put away and uh, getting ready for the farmer's market in a couple days. And uh, I might actually bring y'all along with us this week. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see if I have the courage to do it and how busy it is. Uh, Newberry County has a big, big thing going on this weekend. I think there's about 6,000 people coming into our little town for a Spartan race. Uh, so maybe it'll bring in some customers and uh, hopefully we'll, we will sell out. At least that's the goal. But I really appreciate y'all hanging out with us. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and leave us a comment, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Who's the worker around here? Voila.